Audrey McDonald passes Danielle Gratton top of the circle over to Shane and Kalia left side. Now Emily Maggard step out three, boom. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And it's Emily Maggard doing it. Now it'll be a shot by Zerker, three ball goes. And she says let's go to her teammates as the game's now tied at seven with 16 to go in the first half. Rebound to Emily Maggart, passes to Tyronda Benning. Benning looking to push, pull up right side, elbow. Oh, it rattles around and falls off the rim. Shane and Clyde has it up. off the amount, gets it to Audrey McDonald. Kick out for Daniel Gretton who drains a two. And the question was, can Ball State come out with the same intensity that they ended the half on? And so far they've been able to do it, but we'll see what Bowling Green's energy level is like. Pontius swings it to the right corner for Prohaska. Three ball drains it. Lauren Prohaska, who went one for two from three and one of three from the floor in the first half, made her first shot here in the second half to shoot a pair on the season. Maggart, an 80% free throw shooter, makes the first. Emily Maggart made both free throws, 42-33. Currently the score in favor of the home Cardinals. 18-30 left in the game. Prohaska gets the ball off the inbound, hands off to Pontius, drives the lane, throws it up off the glass, count it, and the foul. And picking the pocket, Bresky looking to go all the way coast to coast. Five points in the blink of an eye. Ball State going to have to settle down, and Coach Packard's taking a timeout. Patrice King drives the lane, slashing, and gets the runner to go. And now it is cut to three. 72-69, Bowling Green on top with two and a half minutes remaining here in Worthen Arena. It's Patrice King with 1.55 to go in the game, working against Pontius. Trying to cross her over, working to the right side. Show off to get rid of it to Danielle Gratton. Awkward pass down around the ankles. Emily Maggard going to throw up a three off the mark. Rebound goes to Bresky. And it's stripped. Ball State gets it. Scramble for the ball. Will we have a timeout? A jump ball. Bodies are everywhere. Jump ball. Possession arrow. Cardinals. Inbound. Audrey McDonald heaving up an NBA three. And it goes. Audrey McDonald, are you serious? Kurt Miller wants a timeout. He wants to talk it over. And Audrey McDonald is like lightning in a bottle. Electricity moving through the bodies of everyone here in Worthen. 74, 72. 22 seconds left. Lots of cheering here from Ball State. Shafir picked up her dribble. Throws a cross court pass. Three ball, short, air ball. Tyronda Benning gets it. And she is fouled. Benning gonna go to the line and shoot two to try to put this one on ice. Audrey McDonald will fire the three. She's short and off the mark from downtown. She's now six of eight from beyond the arc. Seven of nine from the floor for the game. Three minutes remaining. Seven point Cardinal lead. Huskies with the ball. It's Marquis Freeman left side going against Tyron Benning. Crosses Benning over. Kick out for Callahan. Callahan right side wing goes across the screen. She'll launch a long two. Toe is just on the line. Missed off the back iron. Rebound for Danielle Gretton. Roger McDonald working around to the left side. She'll start to drive to the lane and she will draw contact and go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Something uh, when I talked to head coach Kelly Packard about Audrey driving to the lane a little bit. She said Audrey sometimes tries to go up and draw that contact and has the weird form, weird angle shot. I think that kind of came through there. But at the same time, when you're able to draw the foul, you, you can't really get too mad. Looking to trap now, it's in the hands of Tyronda Benning who will bring it across half court. 15 to shoot. It's Benning dribbling towards the right side. Bounce pass to McDonald. She's got 10 to shoot. Looking to get rid of it. Seven to shoot. Down low for Maggart. Ball gets poked away. But it'll be a foul called against Northern Illinois. Goes to Tambui. Tambui kicks it out to Gazzardo. Gazzardo working against Benning. She's got 20 to shoot. Minute 12 to go in the game. Here in overtime. Ruper open for three. It goes. Akron up by two. Benning with it, 18 left to shoot. Audrey McDonald on the near side wing, man-to-man -man defense. Danielle Gretton now, top of the three-point arc. Over to King, King running things now. Finds Maggard at the top of the three-point arc. Finds Gratton down low in the post. Right shot, it rolls around and falls. The bench is jumping up and down for the Cardinals. Three and a half seconds left to go, and Ball State leads by two.